plaintiff, Monica Bishop, was friends with the defendant. And she claims he has so much sex with random women that he got a vasectomy just so he wouldn't impregnate anyone. Monica's suing him today for an impound fee and emotional distress. Defendant David Bauer says when he and Monica hung out, they would often smoke marijuana together. And as a result, Monica became extremely forgetful. David is countersuing Monica for emotional distress. Start with you. David and I met through mutual friends about two years ago. And when we used to go out, I would sort of act as his wing woman to help him get girls. Why? Huh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> he likes young girls. I know, he couldn't get them on his own? Well, I don't know. He gets laid like eggs. I mean, he had a vasectomy just so he wouldn't have to worry about getting girls pregnant. <laughs> and he's even been known to wear a wedding band um, to con women into thinking he's married because he says that some women want what they can't have. That's what well, I'm saying. He can't get women just regularly like most guys. Just honestly, I want to go out on a date with you. And... He's a player. Okay, but most players can get them on their own. If you're a player, you definitely don't need anybody. Players certainly don't need any help. He didn't tell you why he wanted you to, why he needed you to do well, that? Well, he thinks that they would be more inclined to be attracted okay. to him when he sees other women mm -hmm. hanging around. Need a little him. help. All right. right. Go ahead. So, you know, and he would con these women. Well, he can't con me. Did he try to? <laughs> He's trying to. Oh, on the money. Mm -hmm. All right, sir, you want to give any background? Well, like Monica said, we did meet through mutual friends. Uh, when we used to be friends, on occasion we would smoke uh, medical or re uh, recreational marijuana. <laughs> recreational. <laughs> Unfortunately, Monica has a tendency to forget things after she gets done smoking. For example, She's not alone. No. For example, we were going out one night and she came out of her bedroom and asked me to tie up her shirt. Mm -hmm. Well, she didn't realize she didn't have any pants on. How do you know she didn't realize that? She mentioned it to me. Well, then if she after, mentioned it, she definitely realized it. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead. I think she's in denial and subconsciously she wants me. Oh. Uh, I am happy to see that no she way. did remember to put clothes on for court today. Have you seen her other than the one time that you mentioned? The one time. She doesn't want you anymore? She doesn't want me anymore. Okay. Do you have to have other women and scouts and stringers to go and get women for you? <laughs> well, it makes them feel comfortable. play all kind of tricks, putting rings on, huh? It makes them feel comfortable when I, if I'm with another female or so, if I have friends that are Why females. do you feel the need to go through all of that? Kind of tough for you? Yes. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> at least you're honest. Now, I may, you may win today. <laughs> because I see you are an honest man. <laughs> Ma'am, why are you suing him about an impound fee? David uh, wanted to borrow a car that was uninsured that I wasn't driving. Um, I told him he could borrow the car if he got insurance on it. I loaned him the car. He didn't get insurance, the car got impounded. Insurance is required, obviously, in the state that you all live in? Yes. Okay, and he didn't get insurance and it was impounded yes. because he was stopped and did not have proof of insurance? Well, he said it was my fault because I let the insurance lapse on it, but I told him I'm not gonna insure a car that I'm not driving, it's just okay. sitting there. Sir, what do you wanna tell me about this? Well, when I was pulled over originally on the May 4th, uh, I asked Monica if I could use her car. She loaned me the car. Well, I turned around and transferred the insurance from my truck to a non-owner's insurance because the car is not registered to me. Mm -hmm. I was sitting at a traffic light. They, pull, uh, read the, they ran the plates while I was at the traffic light, pulled me over, and, she, and the officer stated that the reason she pulled me over is that the car had suspended license plates because of no insurance from the previous. Didn't you just tell me you transferred your insurance? To yes, I have a non-owner's insurance because it's, so the car is not registered. Why didn't it have insurance if you had transferred? Because it wasn't actually specifically uh, registered to that car. Oh, you attempted to put insurance? Right, with my non-owners, correct. And it didn't work? It didn't work. Why? Because it has to be specifically insured for that car itself. So you made that mistake? Yes. Okay, and as a result of the mistake you made, she's out of $1,500. Yes, she is. So do you think you should pay for the mistake that you made that cost her 1500 <laughs> <laughs> 
I think the mistakes on both of our parts, because uh, when she was pulled over before, it was for a previous a previous incident because of the no insurance on the car. What does that have to do car. with this incident? Well, because the car wasn't insured, I didn't know anything about the suspension on the plates when I got the car. Okay, and you had an obligation to find all that out. All we're discussing today is why was it impounded? It was impounded for failure to obtain insurance. Correct. Because of what you failed to do. 1000 for emotional distress. What did she do to you? Well, unfortunately, I have to take cabs, buses, walk to get to work. So. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm missing something. <laughs> You're saying the car that she loaned you and you failed to insure as you agreed, and so because you caused this car to be impounded and you no longer have transportation because of what you did, you want her to pay for your new transportation. Correct. All right, you don't think. <laughs> now you say, who smokes the most weed? <laughs> yeah, it's clear. All right, slow down, sir. Slow down on your smoking. You're doing a little too much. 1,000 for your counterclaim is dismissed, sir. She doesn't owe you for the emotional distress you caused yourself. $1,535 is your judgment. He had your car impounded because he breached the contract you all had to get insurance. So have a good day, judgment for the plaintiff, and your claim is dismissed. Thank you. Thank you. I can't believe that you were countersuing me for distress when you were the one who got my car impounded. Well, I can't believe you didn't tell me that the car wasn't uh, had suspended plates because of no insurance. It didn't have suspended Apparently plates. Apparently it, it did. Was That's fine. why they pulled when me I, over You know what? For. You're just trying to pull another no. one of your cons. Yeah. That's what this is.